touch of gloves. We are underway. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Modelo Especial, brewed with the fighting spirit since 1925. Romero in red, Whitaker in the black and gold befitting a champion. And right away, Whitaker doing to Romero what Romero did to him, attacking that front leg with a sidekick, trying to hyperextend that knee. What he did so well in the first fight was use that power side. The straight right hand, the straight right kick. Always keep Romero guessing with that. Romero has only been finished once as a pro in MMA. That was Feijiao back in 2011. Underrated part of Romero's game is that defense. Luke Rocco threw some leg kicks. His shin started bleeding. He said it was like hitting steel. Whitaker working off of that jab early. His coaches all talk about his adaptability and his ability to make adjustments mid-fight. Romero covers up to avoid that left hook offering from Whitaker. Thing Romero does, man. He kind of sets this timing and don't expect anything, and suddenly he explodes. He fights in spurts. Yeah, he, he loves it. Yep. Romero has yet to throw a strike. There's a big left. The first strike is not a jab. Slip by Whitaker. About two minutes gone by here in round one. Ooh. Jesus. Everything he throws is like a grenade going off. Well, he's definitely got an idea. He's thrown two of those. What he's trying to do is connect with a bomb. One thing Robert Whitaker did that impressed me a lot in the first fight is he tended to fight very tall. What I mean by that is he was never in position for a flying knee to catch him. He would always kind of chin tuck and he'd stay a little bit straighter to avoid the explosive flying knee of Yoel Romero. He's very quick with that. Well, Romero has such a weird style of like slow motion movement combined by superhuman speed. When you combine those two, it's just so hard to figure out what's coming. Ooh, nice shot over the top. Caught him in the ear. And Whitaker continues to attack that lead leg with that side kick. A lot of Romero's finishes have materialized late. The UFC record six third round knockouts for the Soldier of God. Oh, there's that left hand again. As we mentioned, an uptick in the kicking game of Whitaker over his last several fights. I like the way Whitaker's keeping that jab in his face, always giving him something to worry about. Now, win or lose tonight, Robert Whitaker will remain the undisputed UFC middleweight champion. That's a hard pay to swallow for yeah. Romero. And if you think Whitaker would be happy walking out here with the belt after a loss, you don't know Robert Whitaker. He really wants to win this fight. That does not take any pressure off of him that he keeps his belt. is there for the champion. Under a minute now to go round one. Romero keeping that going hot. Romero misses with the left hand counter. So far, no even attempts at the takedown. It's all about that left hook. Left Short elbow. into an elbow there, but using that left side. Interesting that he's choosing to do that. And he's staying almost entirely orthodox. Oh. There's some power to that. And that is the same left knee and leg that Whitaker injured so early on in that first fight. Had an MCL injury going in that was compounded by Romero. Keep an eye on Romero's right hand because he's not throwing many right hand punches. Nice. Woo! 
those two tonight. The task is Yoel Romero. That side kick again. He's sliding in nicely with that front leg side kick to the front leg. Whoa. What's important to keep in mind is Yoel Romero for years, for his entire life, has done a sport where you have to explode for a three minute period. It rewards you for explode for a couple minutes, get your energy back, explode again. He's adapted that cardio pacing to his MMA career. That's how he fights, in spurts. Robert Whitaker keeps the pressure on. Always with the jab, a little more efficient with his pacing. Will Romero, way more explosive, in a good and bad way. Interesting defensive tactic here with that forearm. Yeah, he's fighting very strange. And you, you gotta wonder how compromised he is by that weight cut. Robert Whitaker's corner brought it up. He looked terrible yesterday. He looked terrible after he had a chance to partially rehydrate and do the ceremonial way. He looked bad. But I would be very careful as Robert Whitaker's corner to say, hey, look, in Perth, Australia, he looked awful. Perth, Australia, he had a horrible weight cut. Perth, Australia, he knocked out Luke Rockhold in a similar way. It's kind of like he was just standing there. Then boom, boom, bang. Don't sleep on this guy. Don't think he's weak or compromised. That's what he wants you to do. Right. I would tell him that as well. Well, Whitaker certainly isn't sleeping on Romero, but he expected a different approach. You know, at this point in the first fight, he had already attempted eight or ten takedowns. Hasn't attempted a single one to him. Yeah, he's fighting very strong. Right after this main event, don't miss a recap of all of tonight's action from Chicago on the FS1 UFC 225 post-fight show. It also streams live on Fox Sports Go in Canada. You can find it on TSN. If I'm Whitaker's corner, I say, I don't care if he starts flying in there. You stay behind the jab. I don't care what he does, it's weird and unorthodox. Stay behind the jab, stick with the game plan, keep picking him apart from the outside. Whitaker's doing a great job with that front leg. Front leg, front kick to the body, side kick to the knee. He's just constantly sticking him with that front leg. And points those toes into the midsection. Doesn't look like fun. Zavat style kicks, they suck. <laughs> toes right in the midsection. Romero starting to attack the body pretty well. Whitaker returns fire effectively. The way Yoel's fighting, it's like he has to win by knockout. How about the swelling, Joe? And Jimmy on that right eye. Really shut. What's on his nose? And that's very quick. That happened very quickly. Wow, that looks terrible. Yep. Look how fast that happened to him. He can't even see out of it. Wow. That is stunning how quickly that swole up. Just out of nowhere. Looks like it might have been a jab on that side. Just clipped the bone right around the eye. And this is going to give a sense of urgency to UL, for sure. Because that is so bad, that could stop the fight. But also depth perception. Once it's gone, it's hard to get your strikes going. Big high kick from the champion. You haven't seen one commitment to the takedown from Romero. That's stunning. Especially something he doesn't need great depth perception to do. Explode into the double leg or single leg. Yeah, that leg is it's, it's totally close. And it was almost instantaneous. It's getting worse. Usually when you see something like that, you think fracture will almost every time. Romero starting to throw caution to the wind here, perhaps thinking that I might not last 25 minutes tonight. It's crazy how you can get hit with 100 punches and that never happens. You just get hit with one weird one that I shuts up. And what we're seeing on the replay from the producers looks like a jab. Not even a big shot, it's the place in his way. Romero's landed a few significant strikes here. Nice inside trip, not getting it. Yoel is fighting with much more urgency now. With that eye, just no fire on him. And the cut man can't get in there soon enough to attend to that right eye of Yoel Romero, who eats another jab here late round two. Oh. 
All right, right into the blue corner of Yoel Romero. Really pushed that down well. It's still a big problem, though. Oh! Oh! Robert Whittaker wants revenge for that jacked up knee. Great kick. Look at the switch right through the center. I think Robert Whittaker fighting with much less fear of the takedown. Oh! That's it right for Romero! Whittaker forced to retreat here. Desperation time now. Trying to take down the Olympian. The Olympic silver medals with a single leg. You know he is hurt when he's going that Kimura trap. Champ's in big trouble. Big deep breath from Robert Whitaker trying to stay up right here. Crazy start to this third round. And a definite window of opportunity for Romero who lands an uppercut. The level change from Romero who lands again. Back and forth we go. Nobody backing up there. Forehead to forehead throwing. There is a lot of time left in this round. And Yola Romero just emptied the gas tank. But Robert Whitaker rocked. Absolutely rocked. You cannot doubt that at all. He's eating some big shots. No question, but he wasn't compromised coming into this fight by a brutal weight cut. That, that may was. be the difference. That may certainly be the difference right now. Elbow for Whitaker, Lance Flush. Number three minutes. Still staying on top of him now. Robert Whitaker knows how badly he was hurt, how much he's gotten back. Nice spinning elbow. Just when it looked like it was going Robert Whitaker's way. Man, that's the power of your Romero. Right back in this fight. Unbelievable. But man, he is gassed. Big knee to the body by Whitaker. Look at that jaw hanging open. He's just taking a breath, a breather here. Yeah. Romero had a body lock briefly. Two minutes to go in the round. Woo! Oh, my goodness. My heart can't take it. <laughs> this is a crazy fight. We need a medic for Joe Rogan, but we're not going to stop watching. Jab. No way. Wow. Left hand for Romero. Whitaker's got to move his head and survive another minute and a half. He needs that minute, in my opinion. Oh! As he is hurt. Oh! Romero with punches and punches here. Whitaker forced to circle out. This is crazy. Both of these fighters refusing to go down. Somehow they're staying on their feet. Wow. And perhaps out of exhaustion, Whitaker goes down, not back up. I think this break benefits Whitaker a little bit more. I know Romero's tired, but Personally, I'd rather be tired than rocked. And Whitaker is definitely rocked. They are all standing here inside United Center. Big deep breath from Yoel Romero as we count down the final seconds of the round. Unbelievable turn of events. 
As Yoel Romero stuns Robert Whitaker early round three, the Cougars have some work to do. We now enter the championship rounds. Of course, the middleweight championship not at stake for Yoel Romero after he missed weight here on Friday. The big question going into this fourth round is what did each fighter get back on the stool? Did Robert Whitaker clear his head? Is he recovered as much as he recovered from the damage he took last round? Did Yoel Romero get his energy back? Yoel's looking to spin. You can see him setting it up. Yeah. You see him loading his hips. Romero just trying to get an extended rest here. Hasn't thrown much through the round's first minute. And all going to that side that he cannot see, that right eye. Badly swollen, that's where he's kicking. Nice jab by Whitaker. He has stayed to, committed to that weapon all night. Oh, serious hyperextension on that knee. I mean, he is really huh. taken to attacking that. And that not all that Whitaker's looking for, a groin strike. That pauses the action. And you will most likely I know it was accidental, nice but it was a good shot. I tried to be in the lower. Deep rest period here. <laughs> a heel to the cup. Accidental. Dan Mugliata says it was accidental. And as many of you know, Romero will have five minutes with which to recover. If I'm his corner man, I'm screaming, oh. take your damn time, right? All of it. Take Everything you can. Who's the translator? Who's the translator? You know I mean, he can take as much time as he likes here. It's much interesting. He has five minutes. Correct? Yes. Yep. So he can decide to just wait this out. 100. Don't, don't expect the booze to get to him. Right. Okay? No. You get the time. No, I mean, he's just on international and yeah, one more style territories. The toes and then the heel came up as well. Right. And of course, on the other cool. side, Robert Whitaker. Oh, you will. He was able to rest and recover as well. It was accidental, just touch gloves, good job. All right, ready, it's time. Back on the way here in this fourth round, under three and a half to go. And they really did manage the swelling under Romero's eye well, not nearly the factor it was earlier. Triple jab there from Whitaker. Romero ducks underneath that head kick attempt. Once again, you gotta wonder about that right hand. He's he almost exclusively left. Yeah, Whitaker is not throwing that right hand anymore. Yeah. It's most likely broken. He said that the best place to break your hand is in the octagon. I totally disagree. I can think of a hundred places I'd rather break my hand than with Yoel Romero staring at me trying to knock me out. Just throwing that out there. It's going to be interesting to see if his corner is picked up by him. Right, the Romero corner. Yeah. yeah, because it seems obvious now. He's just not throwing it. <laughs> I mean, he's clearly favored. And Romero, a couple left kicks right on that right arm wouldn't hurt. The fact that he's doing what he's doing, probably one handed, is amazing. One leg last time, one hand tonight for Whitaker. Oh, good body shot from Romero. Whitaker has landed 36 leg kicks. Two minutes to go, round four. Whitaker did throw that right hand over the top, but not much on it. You're his corner saying, just throw it. He just threw it right there. Yeah. 
from the champion. Fighting this fourth round to win it, perhaps conserving for round five, but landed there. His ability to throw in volume. Not there. He's had a couple, maybe two or three. But he just hasn't had the gas to put together a sustained offense. Elbows on top. This is that, that, that attack in the third round. Other than that round, no attempts at taking me down. <laughs> Which is crazy when you consider that he's a wrestler of the highest caliber. And how many attempted in the first fight? Same opponent. Totally different physical strategy. Just six total strikes landed through a man in this round. His corner imploring him to move forward. <laughs> Start tonight. Whitaker oh. got off to the good start, and Romero rallied. Whitaker's been devastating with that front leg side kick to the knee. Oh! One, two from Romero! And Whitaker just keeps on coming. Every time Romero hits him, he hurts him. Because we have the energy to follow up and finish it. Spinning back kick, that's crazy. Every time he's gotten hurt, he's had to kind of let him off the hook and regain his composure. And by the way, this is a 41-year-old Olympian, 18 years after realizing an Olympic silver medal, taking on the young lion, the champion, who is 27. Oh! Snapping jab from Whitaker. He's also probably one of the best representations of genetics the human race has ever known. So, 41 don't really count when you're talking about a guy like that. I mean, they don't make a whole lot of them like that. Bo Jackson and Yolo Romero. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's the list right there. Yeah, you, know, you guys are freaks. That's what this guy is. Yeah, he's a freak amongst freaks. Jim Hurtley is getting a work out of here tonight, yeah. too. Oh! We're going to go trouble here. Romero trying to capitalize. Oh, this might be over. Oh, uh, Whitaker in real trouble. Oh, over there. Just over three minutes to go. Watch the other one ahead. I'm going to play again. Whitaker still with it, still going for the takedown. Just wants a little bit of rest, trying to hide his head in this single leg position. He's got to move, he can't stay here. Incredible. How about the fortitude and toughness for Whitaker trying to stay in this fight? He is not safe yet, not by a long shot. Yeah, we don't know how much he's recovered, but he's definitely had an opportunity while he's down here. Oh, big elbow, big knee rather. Robert Whitaker right now is just fighting on guts and heart. That's it. Well, they have to kick his legs out from underneath him. Two minutes now to go. Their first fight was a classic. Act two, just as good if not better. Does he have it in him to explode and get out of this position? Gotta be 
careful with the location of that knee. They are right in front of us, and they are absolutely exhausted, folks. I'm sure will. Robert Whitaker gets back to his feet, spits out some blood. And kicked down once again by Romero. What is Robert Whitaker made of? Because it is not fresh and bone like us. He is still in this fight, unbelievable. And the Romero corner just going crazy. Come on, we're trying to get him to. Romero has got to stop this fight. Yeah. You've you got to think Rick. he's Rick. most likely behind. Hands up, hands up, hands up. But you just got to wonder how much he's got left. Back to the center of the octagon. Just about 30 seconds to go in this fifth and final round of a fight that has had it all. What is going to happen this last 20 seconds? Does Whitaker think he has it in the bag and stay behind the jab? Does Romero go for one final explosion for the finish? Whitaker, push kick prevents that spinning attempt from Romero. Mixed martial arts, ladies and gentlemen, Robert Whitaker. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Saudi Amato scores the contest 48-47, Romero. Brian Pacheco scores it 48-47, Whitaker. And Chris Lee scores the contest 48-47 for the winner by split decision, Robert Whitaker.